Apart from the meat, obviously, poachers always seek for something more worthy, which is the ivory. Now, poaching of African elephants for ivory is worth 165 to 188 million dollars a year. Illegal wildlife trade has exploded to meet increasing demand for elephant ivory, rhino horns, and tiger products, particularly in Asia. Controlled by dangerous crime syndicates, wildlife is trafficked much like drugs or weapons. This is part of the ivory that has been seized in Uganda. And as you can see, this was seized from Queen Elizabeth National Park, the year, the weight, and this one weighs 10.5 kilograms, and definitely, as I told you, there is no way as a country we can allow this to get out of Uganda. You kill an elephant, you kill 10 of them to get uh, this ivory, and you think Uganda Wildlife Authority will allow you to take this out of the country? Wildlife criminals often operate with impunity, making the trade a low-risk, high-profit business. Wildlife crime worth as much as 10 billion US dollars annually threatens the existence of free-ranging wildlife. Uh, traffickers are people who are doing this for commercial purposes. They are not a common person, not a common and ordinary Uganda. These are people who have other alternative businesses. These are people who are well connected. They have a lot of connections in the airport, in police, with, 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 with a army, with people in government. They have full-time connections. And they use their connections to try and get their way through the system and have wildlife products exported out of the country. In the next episode, we look at how poachers infiltrate the national parks and execute their operations.